upside down citrus cake. I'm zesting three beautiful pieces of citrus. I've got a grapefruit and a navel orange and blood orange. So I've got all of the zest ready to go. We need to have some wheels of citrus. And what we want to do is reveal all of the fruit and try to get rid of as much of the pith as possible. Because you know, I'm always saying, don't put the pith in, the pith is bitter. Ooh, I'm so excited about this cake. My mom used to make a pineapple upside down cake all the time. I'm just gonna finish peeling and unpithing all of these guys. Okay, all my citrus is peeled. Now it's time to get them into rounds. We'll start with this gorgeous blood orange. Look at that color. And I'm cutting them into about quarter inch rounds because you don't want to cut them too thinly. Okay, there's the navel orange in. And the tartness of the, the pink grapefruit will balance out the sweetness of the navel. There we go. All right, citrus is ready to go. Okay, time to make the caramel sauce. Half a stick of butter or four tablespoons. I'm gonna turn this pan on to medium low. Quarter cup of light brown sugar. And that gives it that caramely flavor. We got a half a cup of granulated sugar. Just wanna get that mixed together and then lay it in the bottom of the pan. I've already buttered the pan. We're gonna pour it right into the pan, even though it's hot. Make sure it goes all the way to the edges. Now let's get these gorgeous pieces of citrus and just kind of nestle that into the caramel. And then blood orange, and then another grapefruit. Just nestle them in there however you like. It's almost looking like a beautiful flower. Now, I'm gonna grab some orange liqueur. That's gonna add an extra other level of citrus in this cake. If you wanna skip this step, you are also allowed. So let's set this rest. Let's get the cake batter ready, shall we? We're gonna get a cup and three quarters, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and then some salt. And we really want this mixed up so you don't get big clumps once the sugar and the butter are creamed. First things first, butter, on the whole stick. And this has been softened, super important. And then a cup of sugar and that gorgeous zest that we did earlier. It will really give this cake a beautiful punch of flavor. All right, let's just cream this up. So we're gonna put one egg in. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit so the egg doesn't splash me. Next egg, get that incorporated. All right, what would any cake be without vanilla? Okay, now that that looks gorgeous and just like silk, let's get a little tang in there. Buttermilk just adds that extra dimension of flavor that you're like, ooh, what was that? So we got a cup. We're gonna do a little bit of dry ingredients, a little bit of buttermilk, and we wanna get the dry in here first because you don't want a tough cake. Now it's time for some more flour. Okay, that looks beautiful. That is a gorgeous batter. Look at the cake pan. You can actually see the zest in the cake batter. That makes me very happy. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. This little guy is gonna go in there for about 50 to 60 minutes. This is the fun part. But you just wanna make sure at least that's all unstuck. Grab your platter, get it on top of your cake, and then we're just gonna flip it. Make it released. It released. Oh my goodness, that is so crazy beautiful. It looks like little flowers, little jewels. 